Welcome back to Relay Gun Adventures. So um, it's another wet and miserable day, so I'm doing some indoor reviews. And I have got, well actually, let me show you what I've got. This is a Beeman Dual. Now, it's quite a nice looking military styled rifle. With a difference, it has two barrels. So it's a double barrel air rifle. And to make it even more interesting, the top one is 2.2 and the bottom one is 0.177. Now, again, full disclosure, this isn't my rifle. This has been lent to me by the guys of Protect Supplies in Bognor Regis, and I'll put a link in below. This is actually a little package. This comes with a scope. Uh, also comes with this nice flip up iron sight, which I'm using today. Um, it's quite a good scope and they've put a bit of thought into it because if you think about it, um, 177 and 22 different trajectories you can with an adapter that's supplied select either top or bottom barrel so you can fire it as a single shot as well as a double shot if you're going down that route you'll have two different trajectories so this scope which is a 4x32 beam and branded has quick adjust turrets on so you can make a very quick re-zero when you're swapping from one pellet to another um, I guess potentially you could use it as a follow-up shot as well. Anyway, that side, here we go. So we've got a polymer stock, full metal action, as you'd expect. Um, the bluing on this is really good, actually. I'm, I'm taken aback at just how good the finish is on the metal work. It is a two-stage adjustable trigger, and this trigger is metal, and it looks to me and feels very like the trigger on the Beeman P17, which is a lovely trigger. This is slightly heavier, the whole thing's bigger, you know, you're gonna expect a little bit of difference, but it's still not bad at all. Now, the styling is very distinctive. It doesn't really look like anything else that I can think of. It's difficult to get it all in, but you can get a good idea. It's, it's quite smart, I mean, initially, I thought, it's not my thing, but actually, now I've sort of held it and looked at it, I've changed my mind. I do quite like it. It's not a lightweight rifle. It comes in just over four kilos, and overall length is 110 centimetres, so it's not a short rifle either. It does feel very nice in the hand and in the shoulder. It's quite a comfortable rifle. Even with that weight, it's quite well balanced. We're not looking at uh, an end or butt heavy rifle. It's quite good. Now, I'm going to shoot with it. I'm only going to shoot it in the double barrel configuration. I don't see the point in doing individual barrels because um, that isn't anything special. What makes this unique is the fact that it fires two at once, which I think would be quite interesting. Now, obviously one's going to be higher than the other, so you're going to get a slight spread. The other thing is over distance, the trajectories are different and that spread will increase. Um, you might find that your lower barrel it's closer to your target and your upper barrel doesn't, you know, maybe 50, 60 yards. I'm only firing at just shy of 20 yards today because that's as far as I can get indoors without um, putting things at risk. I don't want to do that. So I'll go and have a little shoot uh, and we'll come back and we'll just run over some of the, uh, the more interesting features of this particular rifle. So just give me two minutes and I'll be right back. There you go. That was quite an interesting bit of shooting. Just did it three times. Uh, the first one, that was me, really, you know. Um, but uh, once I'd wasted the first two slugs, I was uh, I was well away. Now, um, from a hunting perspective, I would have to do more tests and 
do it over some distance. I would also have to look at the single barrel configuration too and see how that pans out. Um, but for a quick overview review of a very unusual and interesting rifle, I think that tells you a great deal. I do like these pop-up sights and they are very, very adjustable, windage and elevation. Um, in fact, they're, they're so good, I might see if I can source some for another rifle that I've got. They're um, fiber optic and of course the end is fiber optic. When you break the barrel, which is actually not too difficult, um, you have two breaches and I'll put a close up on probably, probably up in that corner. So there's going to be two breaches, top one 0.22, bottom one 0.177. What I've done to try and make life a bit easier for myself is I've matched the weight of the two pellets as closely as I can. So I've gone for a lighter 2.2 and a heavier 0.177 and they were Umarex and um, JSBs. I don't think this gun's going to be particularly pellet fussy. Bear in mind, this is brand new, fresh out of the box. So it's full of oil. It's probably geezing a little bit. It's not um, run in, so things will improve. You will always have that distance between the two pellets, and that will change the further you go. And as I say, they could even end up swapping around if you go far enough. But the point is, it fires two pellets. Now, power-wise, Beeman say that... Um, well, actually, before I say anything about what Beeman say, I thought that if you had a sub 12 foot pound air rifle with two barrels, it would split the power evenly between the two barrels and you get roughly a half power shot. Well, actually that isn't what happens. You get pretty much two full power shots. Now, my chronograph is the type that fits on the end of the barrel. In fact, it's just here. Um, so, you know, let's be honest, it wasn't gonna happen. But I tried anyway. Um, the official figures from Beeman for the uh, double barrel shooting, it's 580 FPS, and I'm pretty sure it's doing that. But, well, I, I did get a, a chronograph reading. What I got was around about the 580 to 600 mark. I'd be interested in putting this over a different chronograph, and I might look into doing that for you, because that could be, uh, could be a deal breaker, couldn't it? Um, single shot, it's slightly more powerful on each barrel, but not tremendously more powerful. So you're not losing a great deal of power or accuracy by firing both barrels at once. Also, um, my initial view of the trigger, that it was similar to the um, Beeman P17, is correct. It's a very similar trigger, uh, and it's a very nice trigger, which again, for an air rifle that comes in as a kit at about 150 British pounds sterling, isn't bad at all. Now, as I've said before, the styling is probably unique. It might not be everybody's cup of tea, I believe they do this in a woodstock as well. Just a plain Jane woodstock, but if you really don't like this, there's still something out there for you. This um, selector on the top, this is set to both barrels and that can be swapped out for this one, which allows you to switch between upper and lower barrels. So 2.2 and 0.177, which uh, is a, an interesting feature. Um, I mean, if I'm honest, my sort of feeling about this is it's a bit of a gimmick, but having said that, it's a lot of fun as well. So there's a place for it, I think. As as rifles go, um, I've had a lot of rifles that um, I thought were okay, and I've had a lot of rifles that I thought were really good. And I think this one is airing towards the really good end of the scale. Um, it's not the best air rifle I've fired. It's not the worst air rifle I've fired. It's one of the more interesting that I've come across. Now, as I say, it's on loan. It's from my friends at Protect Supplies. I had heard of these, but I hadn't actually seen one. So now I've actually got hold of one. My my view of uh, where they sit and what you can do with one is uh, is changed. Anyway, I don't want to waffle too much. Um, I'll put up a couple of close-ups here and there, uh, picture in picture, so you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. I'll just show you the instructions because I have to say, uh, and this is probably true of a lot of the budget type air rifles, that these do let it down. So this is a generic set of instructions which don't seem to cover this rifle. There's some, there's some nice pictures in there and there's some good safety tips, but that's a single barrel Beeman Sportsman rifle, um, which is a different thing altogether. There's information on pistols and side levers. There's a little bit about ammunition, um, quite a bit about safety. There's some information on sighting and the scope, which doesn't cover the scope that we've got. But they do very kindly give you a second sheet 
to cover sighting in the scope, which doesn't cover the scope we've got, but let's be honest, you can't go wrong with this. It's a very simple, straightforward scope. Quite good optics. I looked through it and I was quite impressed. It's made in China, of course, so it's probably not a very expensive scope, but you don't have to mess around with any tools. You don't have to mess around with any caps. If you are changing from one caliber to another and you want to do a quick re-zero, it's pretty straightforward. And it's not, it's not the best scope in the world, to be honest, but it comes with a gun and the gun's not expensive. So that's probably a 30 quid scope, probably. It's not bad at all. Certainly had worse. Certainly had worse recently, which um, I'll be talking about in another video. So in a nutshell, it's interesting. It's fun. It's unusual. It's different. It's been put together quite well. It's not a rattly, cheap, nasty, um, I don't want to say Chinese rifle because some of the Chinese rifles are pretty good, but there are some rough air rifles around at that price point. This isn't one of them. Beeman's a good brand. It's been around for a long, long time. Um, it comes very well packed, which is always a good sign. Um, I would say that for 150 quid, if you want something that's different and uh, you quite like the idea of two barrels, it's the way to go. Anyway, that's enough of that. I think I've probably said a bit too much. I'm going to um, get out of the way. So I'll see you all again soon. Please like and subscribe. It's a big thank you to all those that do. It's much appreciated. See you all again soon. Bye for now.